Is the Shanghai real estate market finally softening? Whether you're buying or you're selling, changes are happening. And today, I've got the details to help you navigate them. I'm Maureen Mahood, broker owner of Sell Your Home Charlotte here in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. And I know people buy and sell real estate in the Charlotte, North Carolina metro. Nobody sells Charlotte like we do. Today, we're diving into the latest trends for the week ending September 21st, 2024. Whether you're thinking of buying, selling, or just curious about what's happening, this update will help you stay ahead of the game. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get these updates in your inbox. So let's get started. Okay, market snapshot number one. Inventory is rising. Let's start with the big picture. Nationally, inventory is up 35.8% year over year. And according to Realtor.com, this is the highest level of active listings we've seen since May of 2020. But how does that affect Charlotte? Locally, for the week ending September 21st, our inventory has increased by 47%, and there's about 9,400 homes for sale in the Charlotte region. What does that mean for you, buyers and sellers? Buyers, more homes on the market means more choice, of course. And this could be your chance for finding that perfect house you've been waiting for. But here's what you need to do to be smart. Some homes may seem like a great deal if their price is reduce, but don't get too excited. Some of these homes might have been overpriced to begin with. Making sure you're working with someone who understands the local market to avoid paying more than you should is important. If you're waiting for prices to just drop further, just keep in mind that Charlotte is still a hot market and don't wait too long. Once interest rates go down again, we're not going to have these longer times on market. And sellers, rising inventory may, may make you feel like it's a challenge because there's more competition. But it's not all bad news. While some agents are reporting that listing prices are softening and price reductions are becoming more common, homes are still moving in Charlotte. And we've seen this in pending sales increase by 28.1% to 935. So buyers are still out there. If you price your home competitively, you still can attract serious offers. The key to it is to focus on presenting your home and being strategic about your price point. Number two, how long are homes staying on the market? Next up, we're gonna talk about time on market, which is super important. We're seeing homes spend a little more time listed compared to the crazy fast turnarounds of last year and the year before. For August, list to close in Charlotte increased lightly to 81 days, just about 2.4% lower than before. For buyers, this means you now have a little more breathing room. It's not run out and buy a house. Instead of rushing to make an offer, the same day the home hits the market. You might have a bit more time to think things through. But again, don't get too comfortable. The best homes, especially in popular neighborhoods, are still moving quickly. Be ready to act when you find the right one. Sellers, homes aren't selling overnight like they were a year ago. But 81 days isn't bad at all. The market is still healthy. If your home is priced right and stays properly, it should sell within this window. If it sits longer, it might be time to consider adjustments to your strategy, whether it's price, condition, or marketing. You still need a really good condition. Don't forget that. What about pricing? One of the most common concerns I hear from both buyers and sellers about pricing are, are homes still affordable? Is the market going to crack? Here's the latest. The Charlotte median sales price increased by 2.9% in August, bringing it to $396,000. While that's a small bump, it shows that prices are still holding strong despite the growing inventory. The buyers, prices aren't plummeting, but there are opportunities out there. Keep an eye on homes that have been on the market for a while as these sellers might be open to negotiating a deal. Also, the percent of original list price received dropped to 96.6%, which means buyers are getting a bit more room to negotiate compared to last year. Now for sellers, even though inventory is rising, Charlotte's demand keeps prices steady. If you're worried, 
you're not going to get what your asking price is, know that hosts are still selling for 96.6% of the original price. Price your home realistically is the key. Overpricing can lead to more time on market, which ultimately may hurt your sales price in the end. So what do you think? If you're in the market to buy, are you seeing more homes that fit your needs? And sellers, how are you feeling about the current trends? Let me know in the comments below and let's talk. If you found this update helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest Charlotte market trends. And if you have any questions about buying or selling, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help. All right, sum it all up. Charlotte's real estate market is shifting, but it's still moving forward. Buyers are seeing more choices and sellers have more opportunities if they are strategic. I'll be back in next week with more updates to keep you informed on everything that's happening in the Charlotte market. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos for more real estate tips and trends. And remember, nobody sells Charlotte like we do. Have a great day, Charlotte.